Dr Rudy Newman, a historian and author working with Hertfordshire's Library Service. And in this series, we'll be revealing some of the important, obscure and sometimes unusual stories to be found in Hertfordshire's history. The village of Bushy, near Watford, has for much of its history been very rural, the fields and views almost timeless. It was as a consequence of this that Bushy would be thrown to the forefront of the arts in Britain, led by an unlikely champion. Born in 1849 in Bavaria, Hubert Herkimer came from a poor but artistically inclined family. His father was a woodcarver, his mother a music teacher, and Hubert soon proved talented at drawing. In 1851 they emigrated to Ohio, but soon moved, living in Southampton from 1857. After receiving a commission, Herkimer's father invested the proceeds in taking him to Munich to study art. Although forced to live very frugally, the experience was extremely positive, Herkimer on his return to Britain enrolling into the Royal College of Art, then called the National Art Training School. In 1869 he exhibited his first work at the Royal Academy, and the quality of his work is revealed by their rapidly growing value. He sold his first for two guineas, but by 1873, at the age of 24, was selling works for over £500. That year he began work as an illustrator for the newspaper The Graphic, through which he built a notable reputation. As but one example, copies of Herkimer's engravings were avidly collected by an enthusiastic but unknown Dutch artist who took great inspiration from his realism and settings. The unknown Dutch artist was, of course, Vincent van Gogh. Herkimer cemented his reputation with one of his best-known works in 1875, The Last Muster. Depicting the death of a Chelsea pensioner during a church service, it was massively popular and won numerous awards, also inspiring Van Gogh's later painting At Eternity's Gate. With rising fame and accolade, Herkimer was elected associate of several art institutions, appointed professor at Oxford, knighted and ennobled by King Otto of Bavaria, awarded the Paul Emerit for Arts by Kaiser Willem II, and for painting Queen Victoria to mark her death, was knighted by Edward VII. The young Hubert, born into a poor emigrant family, was now Sir Hubert von Herkimer, CVORA. In the meantime, though, Herkimer had visited a friend who lived in Bushy, and in 1874 moved to the village. A polymath skilled in enamel work, engraving, etching, watercolour, oils, landscape, portraits and more, in 1883 he founded an art school in Bushy, which over its 21-year operation taught over 500 students, many who would go on to become notable artists in their own right. One, Lucy Kemp Welsh, became a major equestrian artist, creating the illustrations used in the book Black Beauty and the World War I recruitment poster Forward to Victory. She also ran the Bushy Art School after Herkimer retired in 1904. In 1886, Herkimer, though, began arguably his largest project, a house in the style of a Bavarian castle at the far end of Bushy. Named Lululand after his late second wife, Lulu Griffiths, this Gothic edifice was designed by American architect Henry Richardson, his only European work, and was completed in 1894. As part of it, Herkimer created an area dedicated to a new art form he was increasingly experimenting with, moving pictures. Based on this enthusiast work, in 1913 Bushy Studios was founded and remained in operation under various organisations until 2015, throughout being based in Herkimer's purpose-built film studio. Herkimer continued producing art, also hosting visitors at Lululand and regularly travelling to Bavaria where he often drove racing cars. With Anglo-German relationships deteriorating, he had never really been accepted into the British establishment, and it is a sad irony that he was spared the troubles of World War I by his death on the 31st of March 1914. He was buried in St James's Churchyard in Bushy. Lululand was little used after Herkimer's death, falling into disrepair and largely being demolished in 1939. The rubble was used to build Bovingdon Airfield during World War II. Today, only the main entranceway survives, part of modern apartments, as does the adjoining Rose Garden. Also surviving is the glass-roofed film studio, one of the earliest surviving film-related buildings, and which, until its closure, was the oldest working film studio in the world. 
Sir Hubert von Herkimer was influential in 19th century art, inspiring and teaching many future artists. He also had a major impact on Bushy, building its reputation for art and bringing Bavaria to this part of Hertfordshire. If you would like to know more, there is plenty available, and Hertfordshire libraries are a great place to start, with many online resources alongside material in your local library. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and thanks for listening. Thank you.